20 South African teenage pilots are hoping to make aviation history. They'll be flying from Cape to Cairo in an aircraft that they've assembled themselves. This excursion will start on the 15th of June with the different teams from diverse backgrounds taking part. Teen pilot author and motivational speaker Megan Werner and Agnes Semela, who founded the U Dream Global Foundation, joins us this morning to tell us more about this uh, trip. If, to say the least, that they're going to be taking. Thank you very much, Megan and Agnes, for coming in. Megan, Thank let's start you. with you very quickly. Why this idea? What's it supposed to achieve? Well, as you already said, I am an author and a motivational speaker, and I've spoken right around the world. And I wanted to do something next, but this had to be really big, and this had to show people that anything is possible if you set your mind to it. And I love aviation because my mom and dad are both in aviation, so I decided to combine aviation and my passion for for inspirational speaking and inspiring people and making this thing as big as possible and I mean what more than 20 teenagers building a plane and then flying it across Africa if if teenagers can do that what else can you do well 15 year old Agnes is going to be on this uh, aircraft I want to talk about the assembling of this aircraft in just a little bit but Agnes before we went on air you were saying you had to go through quite a rigorous yes. uh, selection process what did they put you through Oh, that's the process. So <laughs> Megan came to our school and she spoke us, to us and she told us about this project that she was doing and she told us that if we wanted to be part of this project, we had to send a one minute long WhatsApp video to a certain number and, and saying why we wanted to be part of this project. And then they received thousands of videos and then from that thousand they chose 400 and then we had a selection day. And I was supposed to go to that selection day but that weekend everything was horrible because I had public speaking on Friday and there was a funeral and oh, it was very dramatic but then I made it um, based then, on your video so yes. why do you want to be part of this project? I want to be part say? of this um, project because I want to experience something new I want to motivate people and I want to show them what they're capable of doing and I want to cut all the stereotypes that teenagers are often stereotyped as mm. reckless and you know faces in screens yes, all the you know? time yeah, so, busy, yeah. yeah. And then on that selection process, um, on that selection day, from that 400, they chose 40, and then we faced a panel of judges. And then Gosh. they asked us questions like, what do you think you're going to put into this project, and why should we choose you? What makes you different from everyone else, and stuff like that. And from that 40, they chose 20, and um, there were also a few golden tickets, and I was also part of the golden tickets. Oh, so you really, really earned your place. You <laughs> yes. earned your spot or your seat on this <laughs> plane as well. So, Megan, what's been the process? I mean, you've assembled... Uh, uh, the, these teens were part of the of this project from yeah. scratch, assembling this this aircraft. It's a what is it? A, a, a sling? It's a sling for it. Sling for air. What is a sling for air? Okay, so it's just a, a type of plane, like you get oh. Boeing and Airbus. It's just a sling one. with mm. a, sm a very small one. It's a four seater aeroplane. You get a two seater as well, but the one we're flying is a four seater. And, and the teens were there since day one. When they got there and we opened the hangar doors, there were five boxes laying on the ground, and we we thought it's just going to be a wing and a wing we attach it and then the plane is built but, but no. then <laughs> no. <laughs> no. it was like lego putting and a lego yeah, plane together like, explain i'm confused now because you say it's a four-seater you've got 20 teens how's this going to work okay so the, there were 20 teenagers that built the plane and then there's a different group of pilots that mm. will be flying it okay. but the group of pilots are all teenagers as well so mm. between the ages of like 17 and 19 are the pilots i'll be one of the pilots um so i'm like getting my i literally have one exam left and then I've got my pilot's license. So how do they qualify to fly flights. this now? <laughs> oh, wonderful, congratulations. <laughs> how do they qualify to, to fly this? this um, uh, so sling Agnes forward? was there from the beginning. She mm. was really, really dedicated and stuff like that. So uh, she was always at every single event and she, throughout her commitment she was like the best out of the boulders and uh, that is why she well gets done. to fly with yeah. um, as a passenger on the, the trip. And she'll be flying up all the way up to Victoria, Victoria Falls, Falls in and then Mumbai. she'll be coming. Agnes, are you there. sure about this? Because <laughs> it took you self-assembled with people who never built a plane before, but built in three weeks. You sure you want to be in this plane? Oh, you sure, it's okay. Yeah, it's very safe because while we were building, there were uh, engineers there that were inspecting what we were doing. So we'd build a piece, and then they'd come and inspect. And if we did it wrong, we'd have to start over again. And then if we did it right, then we'd be able to continue with the flight. So it's pretty safe. And I trust, I trust my team, and I trust everyone else who's there. Okay, fantastic. So how long is this expected to take you? You head off on the fifteenth of June. Yeah. What's going to happen in those days? So what are you going to be doing? So we're planning on taking. 
taking five weeks, and then we'll fly, be flying like first to Namibia and then to the east coast of Africa, and then we'll be stopping at places, going to rural areas, and doing inspirational speaking in different places. All of you and are on the plane, including yes. Agnes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Agnes will also be one of the motivational speakers. She has done motivational speaking through this journey, and um, yeah, so we'll be doing inspirational speaking, and then taking a disadvantaged kids for their first flight. It might be the first time they ever see a plane and then they'll be able to fly in the plane. Wow, that's wonderful. And this was all your idea? Mm -hmm. Yes. Fantastic. <laughs> I, mean, I, say, I had my first flight in this project on um, the first day of the build and then Mike came in and he was like, who of you guys here want to fly? And I was like, oh, me, me. You were I'm brave to do it on the first day. Yes. Like, and we just put it together. Yes. Like Lego and then plane. Like, and you yes. <laughs> and then I sort of got my first flight as well. That was very amazing. So you're going to be doing some motivational speaking. Yes. What are you going to be telling other kids that you meet in other parts of, uh, of Africa? I want to tell them that they're beautiful first thing and they're very special and they shouldn't judge themselves or listen to what other people have to say about them. And I also want to tell them that, you know what, if we can build a plane, what can you do? Mm. Like you can do anything if you put your mind to it, if you just believe that you can achieve this and don't let who you, where you come from and stuff like that, don't let those influence you, use that rather as a motivation to push you and get where you want to go and don't forget to dream because dreaming is the most important thing. Oh, I can see why they chose you Agnes, <laughs> I can see why you got that golden ticket. Uh, Megan are we going to be able to track this flight, are you going to be doing regular yes. updates, is, is, is it, is it going to be stuff we're going to see on social media? Yes, or? yes, it, it will be all of that, they can track us on the website which is udream.co.za. That's your foundation? Uh, that eh? is, yes, yeah. that is the letter U, dream. Mm. Dot co dot ZA. Dream. Okay. But then of course we need the help of the people and yeah. they can do that by back a buddy. Um, back a it's, buddy. A, it's a crowd of okay. fr uh, or funding. Fundraising. <laughs> fundraising. Yeah. fundraising. There we go. Yeah. That's a bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah. and then So you need people to donate to the cause. Yeah. And what, yes. what are you going to use that money for? Um, Mostly we need a fuel sponsor, but the cool thing about this plane is it doesn't only take avgas. So avgas is aviation fuel that use, they use in plane, but this plane also takes no MOGAS, gas. which is normal fuel like you'd put in your car. So it takes fuel. both types of fuel. Okay, so this is life-changing for you, yeah. Agnes. Do you think you want to uh, pursue something in, this, uh, in the aviation industry? Do you want Actually, to be, yes. I mean, we've been seeing all these female fighter yeah. pilots who took part in the inauguration yeah. and they were flying the and it's all of that. So do you want to do that kind of thing? So, yes. Yeah, so the thing is, I'm actually a very stubborn person so I won't really change my mind stuff but being in this project actually made me consider being like mixing um optometry and aviation so I was maybe thinking of maybe mixing them quite vital that you're able to see where you're going yeah, when you're flying so this I was maybe okay. thinking because you know um, people who fly fighter jets can't be color blind and stuff like that well, so no. majority of the people actually struggle you know when you like apply for this thing and then you find out at the end that you can't read it then you message your time so I was maybe thinking of joining them together and then going forward Making with it. the sky safer. Well, thank you very much, ladies. Thank I wish you, you so all much. the luck. We'll definitely be tracking you. I'd love to hear from you when you get back awesome. to see how it all went. Good luck uh, for that. Uh, with that, thank you very much. That's uh, Megan you. Varner and uh, Agnes Siemela. They're going to be heading out on this trip. And uh, that's Cape to Cairo as part of the You Dream uh, Foundation. You Dream.